All right, I want to take a look at some of the production choices I made for Walk This Way and some of the guitar tones. First thing I did different for this song was instead of using my stereo overheads for capturing the stereo image of my drums, I used a mid-side mic technique, which involves using two microphones, one front address, either a dynamic or a condenser, facing forward to capture the center of the mid-side. It's capturing the mid. Then you, I use this mic. You use a large diaphragm condenser set to figure eight. And that way, you're facing it off axis 90 degrees from the mid mic. So you're picking up the front of the microphone and the back when it's in figure eight. But you have to duplicate the track and flip the face to get the back part. So that's what I did here. I ran this microphone, the side microphone, into a Chandler TG2. So you can see I have a Neve plug-in channel strip pulled up, but I'm not using it on the side mics. But I am flipping the phase on this duplicated track. Down here on the mid mic, you can see I do have a Lindell Neve 1084 engaged. That's to give me that analog Neve flavor because I was using just one of my interface Focusrite preamps for that and I really find that these give you that Neve flavor if you only have a limited amount of preamps. So I'm doing some EQ on that mic as well which is nice with the channel strip you get the EQ also a gate. And then if we go down here to the kick I was using my BAE 1073 which is a great preamp but I wanted the API EQ so I pulled up my API channel strip from UA and I did a boost at 50, 6 dB boost at 50. I cut 500, 2 dB. I cut 5K, 2 dB. And at 10K, I cut 4 dB. So that's the EQ on the bass drum. Then if we go down here to bass guitar, I'm using... The Decapitator is a great plugin to use to give you saturation, give you level, and just give you those harmonics and that saturation that you want that analog gear would give you. And let's look at the EQ. I'm using an SSL channel strip from Waves. I'm doing a high pass at around 70, and then I'm boosting 100 hertz, 3 dB at 100 hertz, then I'm doing a, a small Q cut at 360. I'm cutting uh, about 3 dB and then about 2 dB actually. And then I'm boosting 800 just a little bit. And then I'm also cutting about 12K, about 2 dB at 12K. So that's the frequency for the bass. Let's talk about guitars. The first guitar you hear come in is the Les Paul on the left side. It comes in just with the drum beat on the third bar, plays the iconic riff. That is my Les Paul 54 reissue. It's from the 90s. Great sounding guitar going into my Mesa Boogie Tremo Verb Dual Rectifier. No pedals going in. On the vintage high gain mode, it gives you a nice Marshall type sound if you don't push the gain too hard. And it's very interesting that Jack Douglas on this song put both guitars into a pie compressor. You can see here I have a pie compressor from Waves pulled up. Usually this pie compressor, a lot of people use it on parallel compression on drums. I use it that way a lot. I also use DBX160 that way. Um, they both do a similar thing. But both guitars are going into this in the original recording, so I put it on my guitar bus. Um, the second guitar you hear come in is my 52 Tele reissue. And that comes in with the bass when all the instruments come in together. And that is my 52 reissue going through a Prince of Tone pedal and also a Warm Audio Centavo, which is a Klein clone, and then going into my 67 Vintage Twin Reverb. And it really got me 
a nice crunchy sound. On that first Les Paul, it's pan 25 left when it comes in, and then when all the instruments come in, the bass comes in, it goes all the way 50 left, and the, the telly is panned all the way right. So then we go down here to the mix bus. Um, I've got several plugins in my template. I'm not using most of them because I do mix through this external audio effect, which sends the full mix out into my TG2, which is two TG2 mic preamps that are, it's a pair in one 19-inch rack unit. It's a pair, and those are from Abbey Road, what they use to mix Abbey Road and um, Dark Side of the Moon. They have a TG console they have had since about 1969, and these are Chandler preamps that are based on that very accurate to that and before I get that's the last thing in my chain before I get to that I'm hitting a uh, brainworks master desk which is a limiter giving me my level setting that where I want it and before that an SSL bus compressor just getting about 3 dB of gain reduction 